Hey, this is Josh from Trial Bite Studios. And this is Carl. And today we're going to be doing a smash or pass the Jurassic series. Okay, so I guess let's just go ahead and get started. So, oh, whoops. We'll start with uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, you know, 1993, the, the first one. The first movie. Uh, Dr. Hammond. Pass. Yeah, you know, I, I have to say pass too, because, like, he's a nice enough guy, but. Kind of reminds you of a grandpa. Yeah, not he, he really reminds me that... of, like, my grandfather that, like, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to smash my grandpa. I, I, yeah. No, the, I'm good. <clears throat> pass. Pass. All right. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Grant. Pass. But I would like to have a conversation with him. <laughs> I don't know. He's kind of got, like, that alpha male type vibe. I, yeah, I gotta pass. I, 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 I still think he's, like, he's also, like, kind of eccentric, so... You don't want to get into a relationship with this guy. You know what I mean? Like, he's never gonna be there. He's always gonna be off doing something. All right, that's a pass. Uh, Dr. Sattler. I'm thinking... <laughs> Honestly, she's kind of a pass for me. I don't think she's all that attractive. I won't lie. <clears throat> Not really my type. Yeah, true. I mean, in the you know in the novel, her character was uh, a lot younger. Oh, really? I don't know why they got. I mean, Laura Dorn looks like the character, you know, looks. However, she's just like aged more than she should have been from the novel what was she supposed to be in the novel uh a co college kid oh i mean like early 20s you know straight out of college supermodel tan hiker chick yeah she still doesn't really she d i mean she looks like a scientist but not like the actual character from yeah, the novel she looks like she should be about like 30 35 yeah in the movie. They, they definitely <laughs> aged her about like 10 years yeah, so that's uh, that's the, a pass. The character, at least. That's a pass for me. She's just not that attractive for me. She can't play. So, what's your decision? Pass. Really? Oh, I'm kind of surprised. Hello there. <laughs> uh, smash. Easy. Easy smash. Look at that you man. got him, man. Look at that man. That's an easy smash. Holy cow. I mean, who wouldn't want to smash Jeff Goldblum? Can you imagine the sounds? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I see. Who's going to... Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll... Dad, what do you mean? Hold it, now. Hold it right there. Let's not do that again. Oh, God. And you use this picture and, like... Man, I'm getting a little warm. Are you sure it's not your teeth? I'm sure. But, uh, this is an easy smash for me. I'm still passing. You're still passing on Dr. Ian Malcolm? Yes. The chaos theory expert himself? Actually, he's a mathematician, not... Oh, whatever. He introduces himself as a chaos -tician, but he's a mathematician. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever. Uh, Dr. Wu. Still pass. Yeah, this is gonna be a pass for me, too, because he's, like... He's just a jerk. Well, this is younger Dr. Wu. <clears throat> yeah, he's still a jerk. No, he's... He didn't really do much in the first film. I guess, but we know later that, on he becomes yeah, a jerk. Yeah, we know he's going to become a jerk, so it's like no. And again, it's one of those things where it's like he's never going to be home. He's always going to be out like doing something. He's always going to be in the lab. It's like you don't want to get into a relationship with this guy. He puts all his effort into his work. Yeah, he puts <laughs> all of his effort into his work. Nothing into the loving. Kind of like you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nedry. Ass. Yeah, I I don't I don't, I don't think I don't even like, think that like we need to discuss this one. Though apparently the Dilophosaurus love him. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I know that there are some people out there that kind of fiend over this body type, but like it's, I'm not one of them. To the the, the dad bod to the max. <laughs> I don't even know if that classifies as a dad bod. That's more like a job of the hut type type looking deal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert Muldoon. This is an interesting one, actually. Why do you say that? Well, because again, he's kind of got like the, he's got like the Alan Grant vibes where he's like, he also has a very like alpha yeah, male status. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, I don't like, know. He takes no shit. <laughs> Confidence is attractive. So like, I mean, I'm, I should probably, I've prefaced this by saying I'm not gay or bi or anything. I just like having fun with these scenarios. 
Uh, so, you know what? I'd probably smash. Seems like a good time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, uh, still pass. You gotta have fun with it, or, or else it's that. just gonna be like, oh, pass, pass, pass. I understand Because, like, 90% of the characters are guys. Yeah, that's true. That is uh, a very heavy male So, cast. we're gonna have to have a little bit of fun with it. One yeah, way I got that. Okay. Alright, are you ready for the next one, then? Sure. Okay. Uh, Ray Arnold. It's Samuel L. Jackson, my friend. It is Samuel L. Jackson, but it's like... I don't know. Do I well, want to smash Mace Windu? No, because Mace Windu is the more mature Samuel L. Jackson. Right. This is, you know, very young, diehard around that era. Yeah, but still, he's still like... I mean, still Samuel L. fucking Jackson. But yeah, he's... I don't think I could do it because, like... That's, it's a pass because I always, like... You know, as, as a Star Wars fan and, like, watching the prequels, it's like, oh, I like Mace Windu. He's kind of like a cool dad, you know? I mean, he did just kind of sit there for most of the prequels. Except for episode three. And then he was like a really... You know, episode two, and uh, he got some action. Yeah, he got some and action in the, in in the call. And then in episode so, yeah. three, he, you know, at, towards the end, he got to do some stuff. But for the majority of the film, he just kind of sat around. Yeah, so I think this is a pass for me. Just because I, I, he's like a cool dad, and I don't want to really don't do want that. You don't want that image? No, I don't head. want that image in my head. I pass. Here we go. <laughs> Mr. DNA. <laughs> I don't even know why you included this. Because you said to put all named characters, and when you type in Jurassic Park characters, he actually comes up. He actually comes up as a character? Yes, he oh. is a listed, technically, a character. How Do we know how old Mr. DNA is? I guess he's... 65 he, billion he's 60, years Okay. <laughs> all right, you know what? Pass. Or, Smash. I think he's like... Uh, well, Mr. DNA can be anybody you want. Yeah, he, he's a fun guy. So, like, yeah, I'd smash. I'd smash Mr. DNA. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, we got one. <laughs> we finally got one. Because, like I said, Mr. DNA can be whatever you want him to be. That's true. That, that's true. But, I mean, he also has, like, a good personality. And, like, who voices Mr. DNA? A really bad, a bad like, Texas, uh, chain, or, ch uh... Like, Texan accent? Yeah, it's a really bad, like, Southern Texas accent. I don't know. I kind of like that accent, though. Like, we're, I'll, I'll talk about that more when we get to a certain character, but... <laughs> okay. I'm just going to take a guess and say it's probably... Uh, no, 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 Brad, don't, don't say anything yet. All right, so now we're moving on to The Lost World Jurassic Park. Yes. Uh, Jurassic Park 2 came out in 1997. Yes, it did. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Uh, Dr. Harding, this is an easy pass for me. Really? Yeah, easy pass. Because, like, she's just kind of a bitch. She, uh, I'm trying to think of her character like, in the movie. And, I mean, and, and, and in the movie, we also see that she doesn't really give a shit about Dr. Malcolm's feelings. Because he was like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. And she's like, I'm going to do it anyway. So well, isn't that's that not just kind of the modern way of thinking for most people now. Yeah, but that's not how you should be in a relationship. So this is an easy pass well, for me. Because if you she's remember uh, the argument that she has with Dr. Malcolm is like he does the exact same thing to her. Okay, but like okay, every so they're, time. So they're both so still she's jerks. basically doing it not only because she wants to, but also kind of like a middle finger to Ian going, like, you know, this is the shit that you do to me all the time. So they're, bo they're both jerks, but at least one of them is Jeff Goldblum. And this one's just... You do have a point. I don't even know what this actor's name is, or actress's name is. I'm drawing a blank on it, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually drawing a blank. It's so, like, I don't know. Again, uh, she's not really my type, and like... She's just kind of... You know what? I'm going to throw in a smash. Your smash? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> you want to explain your reasoning? Um... <laughs> not really. Oh, come on. Why not? Because <laughs> I don't really have a reasoning per se. I mean, I when I was a kid, I grew up with... I You know, I was born at, right after Jurassic Park. Yeah. So the first real Jurassic Park movie I actually saw was the lost world okay uh dr S sarah harding kind of was the my first take on like a strong female character because i didn't watch star wars until much later okay so she was kind of the first like major female character with a strong personality and i i don't know i just kind of like you like the confidence yeah basically you want to get stepped on no <laughs> All right, uh, Nick Van Owen. Again, this is an easy pass for me because he's like trying to be the Chad, but he's not. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a pass. Yeah, no, um, he's, he's an easy, easy pass. Also, he took the bullets out of freaking uh, another character's gun on a dinosaur-infested yeah, no, island. Not only is he a jerk, but he's a fake Chad. This is this yeah, is that. I mean, the only uh, the whole uh, mention when the first scene you meet him, he's like, "Oh, I do stuff with Greenpeace. What brings you there, women?" Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's literally a yeah, Chad and moment. Then, and, then, like, and then he's like, uh, he was like, he would. Th they're like, you think that Doctor Doctor Hammond would have sent a backup plan? And he's like, they did. It's like, who? What's the backup plan? Me. It's like, fuck you. Nobody likes you. And he takes you. out very tiny pliers out of his. Yeah, pocket. he takes very <laughs> tiny pliers out of his pocket. What are you gonna do with those? Like, I mean, what's the chance of you having a plier or a bolt cutter? At the time that you knew that someone was going to show up with a lock that you need to cut. Yes. I mean, the chances of that whole scene right there. He's was just astronomical. He's and just he's still. He, he's not only is he a jerk, he's a fake Chad. And he's just, he's a, it's an off. You know, the actor himself is fine, but like the character is just written. Horrible. Oh, the character's poorly written. The character is horrible. I do not like oh. uh, Nick Van Owen's character at all. No, me neither. Now, the next one, uh, Eddie Carr. Who's the actor who plays Eddie? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Um, Honestly, when I typed in Eddie Carr to, for the uh, image, uh -huh. it didn't actually give me... It just said everything for the character. It never actually came up with the actor's name. That's funny. I'm um, like, that's interesting, but okay. I, I don't know. He's, he's just a pass. I, I hate to say Again, it. Again, he has that dad he's, uh, yeah, he's personality. Give, he's giving me like dad vibes, and I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's basically what Tony Stark would be if he was uh, like a more modern dad, <laughs> because that's literally what he did. He created all the uh, vehicles and stuff for the uh, the yeah for the expedition. Team. Yeah. So he's literally the Tony Stark dad uh the modern dad <laughs> yeah i see it i i, I mean not, you know not the playboy of philanthropist but I, you know the modern dad i also i do feel like though that he'd be like i feel like he'd be a very like uh he'd be very emotional in the relationship and he would like need he'd be very needy and i just i i i no <laughs> as a pass. however he did run into the uh um trailers with you know, after the uh, two T Rex show up, I mean, oh, not too yeah, many he, people would have done that's that. That's true. You know what? Does that give him a little more that power? A, yeah, honestly, that's pretty. I mean, that's, that's kind of ballsy. Like, that's a little. That's ballsy. He's only known these people for what, like forty eight hours, um, and he decided to risk his his literally his life. Yeah, basically, to try to save them. Now, imagine if you'd been in a relationship with this guy for like a year. He would go out on like any limb for you. You know what? I you know what? Smash. Are you gonna are you gonna smash? Is this a smash? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll I'll agree with that one. Uh, because you know it's like he risked his own life for people he didn't know. Yeah. Just because now it'd be funny if uh he actually survived and they ask him and he goes, No, nah, I just did for the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he he risked his own life for people he didn't know. Now and he never he didn't seem like he was a bad guy at all. Yeah, I'm no. like he didn't have a like a he, a bad bone. Yeah, he in didn't body. have like an ulterior motive. He didn't have like any anything. No, else. he's just kind of there for the ride, he's and then he, the he jumps into the hero spot. Yeah, so for yeah. like his split for, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, for all of thirty seconds before the two Rexes rip him in half. But yeah, yeah you know what, Smash? Uh, Peter Ludlow. Hate him. Yeah, no, this is a pass. Especially since in the beginning of the movie with him and his that uh, like business outfit that looks way too big on him. Yeah, it, he looks terrible in the beginning of the movie. He he's just. He gives me like the rich British hunter like safari type vibe, which is weird because he's not British. <laughs> right, but that's what that's the vibe he gives me is like he should be out there in like a bowler hat like hunting elephants in the bush. You mean with, like, like the guy from uh, the original Jumanji? Yeah, yeah, that and, guy. Like the uh, safari outfit. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, that that's an easy pass for me. Pass like hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> uh, Robert Burke. Pass. Yeah, this is a pass. This man, he looks wild. Like, you don't even want to know what this guy would do. I did find it funny that the uh, emblem like on fucking his Sasquatch. jacket... Is the emblem on his jacket a pachycephalosaurus? I think it is. Or is that like a brachiosaurus with a really fucked up neck? It. You know, that's a good question. I can't. I think it's a brachiosaurus, like, spinning around the thing. Cause, 
Because it, it looks, it like, looks it's... like the neck turns all the way around to the tail, and I'm like, that that's definitely a broke neck. Yeah, but uh, no, this is a this is a hard pass. Like, look at this. he looks wild. He looks like he hasn't showered in like four days. He looks like a Sasquatch coming through the woods. <laughs> like all he cares about is like the fossils, and he'll like come in and he'll basically be like, dr grant but w without a shower without the like good personality and good looks yeah yeah I mean, the, he did die from a milk snake because he was scared more of a snake than a t-rex than a t-rex yeah so not only is this guy stupid he's ugly too so that yeah, yeah pass <laughs> uh dieter stark the guy who sh uh shot the compi yeah that's passed pass. Yeah, pass. I don't even know what you to say about it. You know the funny part? There's a character in, like, the big group shot where they're all resting in the woods. Uh-huh. That actually looks more like the Dieter Stark action figure than the actual character in the movie. That's kind of funny. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's his most notable thing. Because, like, I really can't remember anything else about the character except... Other than getting eaten by, by coffees. No, that's pretty much... Oh, uh, he shot the uh, Parasaurolophus. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's the one that darts the Parasaurolophus. Wow. But... Other than those two minimal scenes, he's only known for compy food. For compy food, uh, Roland Timbo. This one's pretty easy for me. This is a this is a smash. Yep. This, really? Yeah, dude. The freaking guy. Okay, they had to redo the uh, his uh, intro scene. He literally broke a dude's nose just because he was um, messing around with a waitress in uh, Mombasa. Wait. For real? Yeah, that was literally like this his is, that's real scene. life. No, that was his intro. Oh, scene. that was his intro scene. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. In a deleted scene, he uh, picked on a tourist in Mombasa because he was messing around with a waitress. Dude, this is smash this man. This is pretty. This like also he went toe to toe with a buck rat. Yeah, he I just kind of stood there. So I mean, the balls on this guy <laughs> are like ginormous. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You, not only did he, well, in the deleted scene, uh, was kind of like a knight. Uh, yeah, he's like a white knight almost, but like in a good way. So yeah, that, that that's a smash. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I I don't even remember this character. AJ uh, Sid, Sid who? This was Roland Timbo's uh, gunman. Oh, is this He little... was the guy that uh, went to bring him along. It's his wormy guy. Well... He's the guy that's carrying the extra ammo, um, the backup rifle. You know, he's your uh, the plus one in like big he, game. He's hunting. his caddy, basically. Okay, yeah, this is a pass because he's really bad at his job. Well, not only is it a pass, he's just a bad looking character because he looks just like uh, freaking Peter Lolo. Yeah, you but... just changed the glasses and put a hat on him. Yeah, no, this is this is easily. I mean, I get everyone's pass. wearing safari uh, gear and there's not much you know difference between it but still it, it's just a bad idea to put two guys that look exactly identical yeah also like like i said he's so he's really bad at his job because he let uh you know nick van owen uh, i i forget his name the the character nick van owen oh that uh, the, oh anyway was his, the character god uh, the, he let nick van owen take the bullets out uh, no because that's when um uh, uh, no, that was before they. But his whole him his whole job is to keep. Uh, well, you can't freaking. Uh, he didn't. Roland didn't hand him the rifle. Sure, but his whole he job. He just kind of put the rifle down and then walked off. His whole job is to keep Roland ready to shoot a a, a Buck Rex whenever Roland wants to. My question is, uh, if that's the case, then why didn't uh, Roland check the uh, gun before you know? trying to fire it because he thought that aj would have done it this guy's bad as a job he looks he looks he's ugly <laughs> oh damn this is, a, this is a pass i mean he, he's kind of ugly he does, it's not that you already said ugly. pass you don't have to throw the man down a, a stairwell <laughs> i'm gonna kick him kick him like, not damn. only will i push him down a flight of stairs i'll kick his guts uh <laughs> jp3 the, the movie that we just don't talk about <laughs> yeah, that we don't really talk about um billy brennan billy's okay he's average he's average but he's, he's gonna still be... pass yeah this is a pass for me because he's just he's not that smart i'm who looking who steals raptor eggs after being a uh tag along for alan grant yeah you know, the raptor expert yeah no the, he's he's not very smart and he seems like like he did try to sacrifice himself to save everybody but that was only after he had made a mistake you know what i'm saying no he got called out on the mistake yeah he got called out on the mistake so he wouldn't have admitted it until he got called out 
And then, by the way, how did those eggs everybody. not break throughout the entire time they find out they that were, he was in his bag? They were in the lunchbox. Don't worry about it. I mean, that lunchbox must be made out like freaking titanium or something. Because <laughs> that, like, how does a soft goods lunchbox not break these eggs? I, I don't know. Especially falling, you know, in, through a stampede and all that. Yeah. No, he's still a pass. I'm like, yeah, pass. Uh, Paul Kirby, he's way too much of a dad. He I, is a dad. Yeah, exactly. He's literally the dad. Yeah, exactly. So I, I can't. This is a pass. Because, pass. yeah, he's he's he's, However, just, he's a dad. His next character might be a different answer. Amanda Kirby? I think, yeah, probably I'd smash. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. She's, she's yeah, it's pretty pretty nice. <laughs> yep. I, that's all I'm going to say. Because I know that um, certain people are going to watch this video, and I don't want to have to justify. I'll justify later. <laughs> When they ask you about the video. <laughs> yeah, when they ask me about the video, then I'll justify. But until then, I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving that card for later. <laughs> Next character? Yep. All right. Uh, Mr. Udetsky? Yeah. Now, this, this guy also, the only reason I remember him is because he played the fucking clown in Airbud. You remember that? I vaguely remember Airbud. Okay, Bud. well, I, he played the clown in Airbud, so this is a pass for me because that guy was mean. Is it the one that the dog literally just, like, destroys the dude and he goes running out the door? Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, that's, that's also a... the one where the dog plays basketball. Yeah, I know what Airbud. <laughs> I got that part. Well, I didn't I know. mean, I don't know, maybe it was a really old, uh, you know, Airpods commercial, but... <laughs> Which, I'm surprised they didn't make that joke. It's just a Jordans commercial. Yeah. The whole movie was a Jordans commercial. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> for dogs. So, what, what, what Mr. Udetsky for you? Pass, like, Pass. a freaking uh, slowpoke on the interstate. <laughs> uh, MB Nash. I don't remember this He's man. the one that gets eaten by the Spinosaurus uh, oh, right out of the plane. Oh, that guy. Like, he gets out. What did he do? He had, like, go pee or something? and then No. Was... They, uh, when they set up the perimeter, he's the one. He's the pilot. He's the one that has the satellite phone in his pocket when the uh, Spinosaurus eats him. And then, you know, later becomes the dino poo that they're digging through. Oh. We don't really know enough about him to, like, make Other a decision. Other than he's a hired mercenary, no. We oh, that's really... a pass. If he's a criminal, I don't. I don't want any part of that. I mean, so was Mr. Udesky too. Oh yeah, but but well, he was more of a travel agent for the mercenaries, yeah, not the yeah. actual merc. So no, this this is probably a pass. Yeah, it's a pass. All right. So now we're moving on to Jurassic World. Wow, okay. there really aren't that many characters, like uh, new characters in Jurassic Park. Uh, Jurassic Park Three was a very small cast. Yeah. However, Jurassic World had a lot more because There's it's a an lot actual of park in here, and I am very excited because. Uh, the first answer that that's a smash holy crap anybody who knows like this is public knowledge but chris pratt is kind of like my man crush i really like chris pratt so i'm kind of happy that he's playing a bunch of characters like in the mario movie and like it's a me the mario yeah no this is this is this i is mean easily you a have smash. star lord from marvel <laughs> yeah owen grady yeah um he's been a lot he's been park and rec yeah parks and rec uh what was that uh, he was in a movie with uh, Anne Hathaway. I forget which one it was called. Was it Anne Hathaway? I think it was Anne Hathaway. It was like a wedding movie where he played one of the uh, girl's boyfriends. Oh! I don't know what it's called, but yeah. I know, I know what you're talking about. The two girls that are like best friends, but they get married, want to have a wedding on their, their own wedding. It's on the same day. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, he played one of the uh, boyfriends in that one. Yeah, no, this is this is easy a smash, easily a smash. Like, not only is he like cool, but he knows he's cool. He is he is like literally the Chad. He's also a, a goofball, apparently. Yeah, he's a bit of a goofball too. So like, that's kind of fun. He's he you like know the funny thing. He likes to actually, tell jokes. You know the funny thing. He's kind of like you, in a way. Is this like? It's not gay because he's just me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just saying, uh, he kind of remind the way his personality is, he kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Really? Okay, I, I'll take that as, like... I mean, if you start like, growing a mustache, then, then we might have to talk. I'll take, that, I'll take that as a wholehearted compliment. But, like, not only, like, I think, like, the coolest line for me in, in like, Jurassic World is when he's talking to the kids, and they're, like, uh, and he's, like, Blue's the beta, and then Charlie and Echo... And uh, the was it the boy or the girl who's like who's the alpha? Uh, one. They're oh, they're both, both boys. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but it was the younger one. It yeah, was, he's uh, like who's the alpha? And he's like I think Gray. And he's just like me. 
What are their names? Well, you got Charlie, his Echo. Here is Delta. This one's called Blue. She's the beta. Who's the alpha? You're looking at him, kid. It's yeah. like, damn. Holy crap. That's that's pretty. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, yeah. It's yeah. a smash. Yeah, it's a smash. Uh, Blue. Owen's beta. Yeah, Owen's beta. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that, that's a pass. Like, not only do you have to worry about getting eaten, but, like, we don't really know how dinosaur underbits work, so, like, Blue might just have a cloaca. Well, apparently it uh, has enough underbits to recreate by itself. Yeah, no, that's pass. That's a little, that's, that's weird. But remember, on Isla Nublar, the dinosaur smash you. That's true, but, no, I, I'm gonna run away. Like, at, you can try. <laughs> I'll try to at run. 60 miles. Apparently, you know, raptors run 60 miles an hour in the open. I'll still try to run away. Climb a tree. It might be better. Right. So that's that's past for me. I, I'm definitely passing. <laughs> no, thank you. Claire? I plead the fifth. This is a pass. I plead the fifth. I really hate her character. I plead the fifth. She's boring. She's... Maybe, maybe in, like... Maybe we'll see a little bit more character in Dominion. Because, like... She's just so boring in this movie. I hate her. In the first one, yeah, because she, you know, she's more of a business tycoon and then becomes, you know, more humanized towards the end of the film where she's, you know, caring for her, her uh, nephews, uh, has a kind of rekindles the relationship with Owen. Yeah. But like in the beginning of the film, yeah, she's kind of, you know, no, I just, plain. I think she's boring. I think she's like a, not a very well written character. I just, nah, pass. I plead the fifth. <laughs> you gotta answer it. I don't want to answer this. Well, you, you've already answered a couple of okay, them. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah, smash. Like oh a hard my. smash. <laughs> oh my. There we go. Oh okay. Smash where the button is broken. That okay, there we go. That will move on. Oh Thank my. you. Uh, Simon Mezrani, I'd do it just for the money. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be that guy? <laughs> yeah, I'd be a gold digger. Fuck it. Like, I, I got nothing better going on. Question. If you're doing that, do you get like a... Uh, Unlimited pass to go to Jurassic World. That's what I'm saying. So I'd be because like, if so, then yeah, sure, I'd be, let's I, go with that. One. I'd be the sugar baby. I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Free trip to Jurassic World. Fuck yeah. Free rides in helicopters. Is I could buy anything I want. Free trips to Jurassic World. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd smash Simon Mesroni. If it's for the trip, sure. <laughs> I'll go with that. All right. You know that actor's dead now, right? Oh God, that's so sad. Yeah, he he passed away. And you know what? It, and here's the thing too is that like was like a few years after they filmed, uh, he apparently passed away. Also, he's not like an unattractive guy either. So like that. He's that, been in other stuff. That adds to like the bonus because like he's, he's a pretty good looking guy. He's been in another. The actor's been in other stuff. Uh, yeah, I, if I remember correctly, he actually did die. Yeah, that's like, that's pretty sad. Uh, a few years ago. All right, so yeah, Pat, or Smash for you? Yep. Okay. Uh, Zara Young, this is the she, uh, Claire's uh, yeah, like her secretary, se type, secretary basically type deal. Um, that kind of gets roped into taking care of Claire's and she nephews. like just kind of dies. She's pretty irresponsible. I mean, yeah, she's more, more worried about a phone call than actually, you know, taking care of. Or maybe she's more responsible then because she's more worried about like the business side of stuff. No, she just organizes Claire's business stuff. Oh. Um, I mean, Claire still does her job. I mean, she's not going to be, you know, head of park management just by not doing her work. Like, I don't... What do you think this is, AMC? I, I don't hate her like I hate uh, Claire. But I... She wasn't really in the movie enough to actually get a, a feel for her. No, and saying? then she, she kind of gets, like, an unfair death, too. However, she did do that stunt herself. She did? Yeah. I watched the behind the scenes. She actually did the stunt that's by kinda, herself. That's kind of cool. So the whole scene with her falling into the water yeah. and, you know, bobbing like a freaking apple, that was actually her. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It's kind of badass, though. It is kind of badass. I wish you would have gotten a picture without the sunglasses on. Honestly, that's literally the only picture you oh, could really? find. It was either that or her in a very tiny air pose with the uh, Tyrannodon. <laughs> um... I, I don't know enough she's about British. her. She's British? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. A but. little bit. <laughs> I, I do like accents. Uh, honestly, though, my favorite accent is like the like the, uh, like the the Owen Grady accent. Like that almost kind of country southern mix type deal. Where it's like a little country, but it's not like Warder. He, he's, he's just like, you know. So he's like, I was other, with the Navy, the not upper, the Navajo. You know, like stuff like that. 
So basically, like northern, uh, the the north like, part of the south. Yeah, like North Carolina. Well, parts of Virginia. Yeah, parts of Virginia, uh, North Carolina, and you know, part you know the upper parts of like. Yeah, that's like my favorite accent, but I do like British accents too. Uh, Isn't British accent like the number one sexiest accent on the planet? Is it? I I think that was like like the higher part of that tier. I'll probably pass on on Zara Young. I'll pass. However, if we knew more about her, yeah, the actual character, not the actress, but right. the actual character, then I might have swung I, for a, a smash. Yeah, but since I, we don't know anything about her. It's kind of hard to like judge. Yeah, I would. I would definitely consider if we knew more about the character. But I don't want to base it just off of looks because I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Barry Simbene. Simbene. This is like Owen's right hand guy too, yeah. right? This um, is the guy that Owen brings in when he realizes that rap the baby raptors are starting to get a little more complicated in uh, handling. So, this is an interesting one. It's like I like his character. Oh, I love the character. However, will you smash him? Would I smash this guy? He's coming back for the new movie. It depends, honestly, because, like, do I get to be on top? Because, <laughs> uh, you know... Well, technically, wouldn't he also be an alpha? Because if he, Would he? Because if he, uh, in a, like, a raptor pack, the parents would be alphas. Well, if Owen's alpha and he's his, uh second in command right wouldn't he also be considered alpha i guess so which is pretty that means you're on the bottom carl i pass <laughs> <laughs> well that was a quick uh turn around well i mean <laughs> i don't want to think about what this man might be packing <laughs> apparently a revolver <laughs> yeah so uh no that that's gonna be a pass yeah it's yeah a pass. i yeah <laughs> i mean to be honest he was doing his kind of like a military uh espionage when uh Hoskins started pulling uh, engine security on the beach. Yeah. So. So. I mean, he's he's a cool character. Don't oh, get me wrong. He's a great uh, character. But I'm I, just saying I, it's. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, pass. Pass. Uh, Rexy. She smashes you. You don't <laughs> smash her. Honestly, you just got to get away. I I you, pass. Like I don't think I need to really explain why. Yeah, it's a, definitely a pass. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what were you? How else would you say this, Carl? I don't know. How else would you say this, Josh? Uh, so now we're actually into Camp Cretaceous characters. Yeah, I threw Camp Cretaceous into Jurassic World because it basically is the same timeline area. Also, it just occurred to me, we're missing uh, the guy you just mentioned. Hoskins, yes, yeah, I Hoskins. realized that. Uh, so let's, let's talk about Hoskins kind of throw, real quick. Well, we can throw him on the end of it. Uh, okay. We'll just throw him at the end. Uh, Roxy? I plead fifth. This is an easy one for me. I'd smash. Yeah easy there's there's a meme uh that says i don't the reason why i watch camp cretaceous is because the plot and it's just pictures of proxy <laughs> it's i'm like i can see that yeah no I, again I, I'll, <coughs> I know i'll have to justify my answers but it, it'll be worth it this is a smash uh dave pass i don't know dave's kind of he's got like that yeah you know, he's kind of cute <laughs> for me dave's personality is that too bubbly he's like too bubbly yeah I don't know. I feel like that would be a good thing. Not when you're trying to take a serious note and he uh, literally takes the walkie and goes, Hey, uh, I know you're busy, but could we borrow this? <laughs> it's like, no. What? Uh, no. I don't know. I, I, We're I, in a park evacuation. No, I'm not doing this. I don't know. I feel like as a, in a relationship, he'd be very sensitive and very like open to your problems. He did have more of a sensitivity yeah. uh, in the show. Yeah. So... He was very worried about the campers. Yeah, but so I think I... You know, he kind of has, like, that older brother vibe. Oh, you know what? You're right. Like, the older, goofy brother. Yeah, it's like, he cares about the uh, kids, but... He's like a step bro. What are you doing, step bro? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd probably smash. Small ass? Yeah, small <laughs> ass. But I think I'd probably smash. Yeah. Yeah? You, you see my, you see I, my I, reasoning I see where you're here? reasoning, but I'm still going to have to say pass. I feel like he'd be a really fun fun partner in a relationship. Like, he would, you would, like, go out and get ice cream before getting dinner with Dave. You know what I mean? 
I'm pretty sure you just have ice cream. I don't think dinner would even be right. A, or you would go that out. would be a Taco Bell, and yeah, you'd, you'd be regretting. You it would later. go out and you'd get like he'd be a really fun date because this is how your day would go, right? You would get up at like noon. You'd like lounge around the house in your pajamas for a few hours. Then you would go out and like you get your ice cream. You'd go to Taco Bell. Then you'd like go walk around the mall and like goof around, and then you'd see a movie, and then go home, and then smash. I'm sorry, did you just tell us all how your dates go with Clea? No, that's a Connor date. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him know about this. <laughs> so, yes, I would I would smash Dave. With, a small, with a small ass. <laughs> that's a small ass, but I'll still have to pass. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, fair enough. But uh, you see my you see my logic. Yeah. Um. So, Hoskins, and I'll probably, I'll try to bring up a video, or a, a, a photo, a, a, a photo in the, uh, in the video. Hoskins. Hot. He, he just came as a jerk. Yeah, he's a jerk. Pass. He's a he's a mean dad. He's a dad who goes home and he binge drinks and then he beats the shit. I out mean, of he his did kids. have a beer gut in that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's what I'm saying. So like, he goes home, he binge drinks, and then he gets angry at his wife and beats the shit out of his kids. That's what happens with that's 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 yeah, literally he gets smashed by Delta. Yeah, he did get <laughs> smashed by Delta. <laughs> okay, let let's go through the let's go through the Fallen Kingdom characters because there was, uh, oh my god, what was his name? The, the idiot guy. There's a bunch of idiots. Which one? No, the the guy who's like... There's like 20 mercenaries. He's super scared of the T-Rex. It's like, is that the T-Rex? What was his uh, name? Franklin. Franklin. What would you smash or pass Franklin? Pass? Yeah, pass. Um, I mean, he also... Oh. Uh, you know, when Owen says, you know, that he rode his micro... His uh, bike through uh, the woods with the raptors, it literally, like, shit himself right there. Yes. I'm like... You, you're supposedly working with these guys, and you, you, you didn't know that. <laughs> like really? Um. Oh, it, you know what we forgot? Hmm. Lowry. Which one is that? The one that when Claire goes open the damn gate, he goes, "Why did you have to be so rude?" Oh, that's right. You know the right. one that yeah, tried yeah, to kiss with, the, with his the, uh, coworker with the Jurassic Park shirt. Here, yeah. Yeah. We oh. forgot about him. Oh man! Shit, I, I I did a terrible job at this. Yes. I should be fired. I'm gonna fire you from your. <laughs> from this position that makes wait me you money. don't pay me so yeah exactly you're doing this for fun what am i talking about um and i was also like three in the morning so, so that you know. guy i don't know he's like you're gonna have to edit a lot of more pictures yeah i'm gonna have to add in a lot more pictures he's he's kind of like i don't know pass pass he, he just, just reminds like the, me uh, too much of you and it's like oh geez thanks <laughs> I, I say you're Owen Grady, and then you're like, yeah, you're the guy that we yell at on the radio. Thank, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh no, because like he's got like the the, like, the the Jurassic Park shirt going on. He's got like you know all the figures on his desk, and I, I could just see you being like that, but a little obviously a little bit cooler. But yeah, I could see that like that's the archetypal character. At least I'm uh, in a Jurassic World. Yeah. So no, I. I I'd pass. As you're like riding your motorcycle through a freaking jungle of raptors, I'm like the guy on the, uh, I'm the guy in the chair. You can be my guy in the chair. That's the dynamic. This, this just became a freaking Spider-Man. Yeah, I think that's the dynamic anyway. So Zeta, is that her name, Zeta? Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, there was actually gonna be a deleted scene where she supposedly kisses her lover before getting on the plane, but hmm. they totally like took that scene out. And I think she was supposed to be like a lesbian, or oh. at least bisexual. Oh, I mean, I don't really care. Mm. To be honest, <laughs> I'm I'm just playing that. No, no. I mean, I think I think that's a think positive. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, yeah. I mean it's a different take in the Jurassic World series, right? Especially since you know the whole premise is you know female animals finding a way to procreate, right? Um, so. I like the character though. She definitely had a. Uh, oh yeah, she, she's she's cooler than Franklin. That's for sure. She pulled a gun on uh, a guy. You know, Owen. She pulled Owen's gun on a group of uh, mercenaries that yeah. all have fully, probably fully all the uh, full auto weapons. Yeah. Uh, she fixes blue. Yes. You know. And even after getting captured, she's basically giving smack to these guys. You know what? Yeah, that's that's a smack. I mean, yeah, like the it, confidence is is attractive. Now you don't want somebody who's going to be like, well, eh, eh, you never know. Depend I mean, I don't know your sexual preferences. Right. It Carl. I was about to say it depends on your preferences, but I think that'd probably be a smash. 
I put my name on the list. Yeah. But you're not probably getting called up anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is that a yes or a no? I just said yes. Oh, okay. I, I did say that before the whole list thing. Also, you forgot Eli Mills, the rich kid that uh, Ben Lockwood was like made um, that was kind of in charge of his portfolio. Oh, that the guy? The one that calls player. He goes, hey, can you go to this island and get blue for me? Oh, he's a pass. Oh, he's a hard pass. Yeah, because he's a jerk. Yeah. Like, not only is he like terrible, but he's just a, kind of a jerk. I mean, honestly, when he comes down the stairs in the opening scene, I'm like, I don't like this guy. Yeah, no. I don't even know what the movie is. I just, I don't like him. You can just tell that he's not he's a nice guy. kind of was like a redo of, he's a redo of Peter Lublow. Oh, yeah, you know what he is. But, like, where Peter Lublow's, like, a mid-age, you know, guy, balding, here's he, Eli he's Mills, like, a, like, like in a 30 his year old guy. And, like, a much younger and, you know. Yeah. Same, same color suit too. Yeah, it was like a that bluish, uh, not really like a navy blue, but you know that blue suit. Yeah, no, he's a pass. And then I guess lastly is is you know Doctor Lockwood. That's a uh, again, that's like a John Hammond. He's like, older than John Hammond. He's like the nice old grandpa. I don't want to. That clones his own daughter. Oh, that's that, that makes it even worse. So that that's the that's a hard I'm like, pass. So I understand that you had the power to you know with genetics and cloning, but did you really have to redo the whole uh, daughter thing? I yeah, mean, just like just let her die, you know, lay yeah. and rest. Yeah. So like not like not only does he give me like grandpa vibes, but he's also like weird grandpa vibes. Weird. He's yeah. He's like weird uncle. Oh, that's a pass. <laughs> I don't want to. That's a hard pass. That's a hard pass. So I think that's I think that covers everything, doesn't it? I believe so. All the main all the major, major characters. characters, not any like the three thousand people you know right. that just kind of showed up for uh, yeah. Jurassic World, yeah, <laughs> or the tycoons, or all yeah. I was about to say all the Monopoly men in the basement of the Lockwood Manor. Yeah. So okay, well I think we learned a lot about each other today. <laughs> a little more than I cared to know, but uh, you know what? That's why you're be- my one of my uh, groomsmen for my wedding. Yep. So. With that being said, uh, I think I think that'll take us to the end of the video. So this has been Carl. And this is Josh. With Trial Byte Studios, and we are signing off.